idea. Just gonna oh my with God. these brand new, brand new. Oh God. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What's up, Life Fright Nation? Now, for those of you who have been following along, you'll know that that is a brand new 392 Rubicon, or at least it used to be. This is the frame that came with it, and that is an 840 horsepower Demon engine that's now sitting in that frame. Now, for those of you who haven't been following along and you have no idea how we got to this point, uh, right here, situation behind me, I highly recommend you take a moment, go back, catch yourself up from the previous videos because we are at America's Most Wanted 4x4 and we are creating the Demon Child, which is going to be a brand new 392 Rubicon that we ripped out the 392 and we're throwing a Demon engine into it. Now, of course, the next step, now that we're at this point, is to finish wrapping up what's here, roll this bad boy underneath, and drop the cab back onto it. And believe it or not, from there, we're not even close to being done because this is not just your run-of-the-mill engine swap. This is a full-blown vehicle conversion. It's not just the engine. This is a front to rear, outside to inside conversion. And there's a ton more stuff that we have planned that's totally custom and gonna be totally awesome in store for you guys. Now the perfect example of what we mean by full conversion is you guys might remember when we finished the frame, I told you that the wheels and tires that were on it were not going to be the final wheels and tires for the Demon Child. The reason for that is because AMW works very closely with KMC and these right here are the first ever set of KMC 449s. America's Most Wanted and KMC actually collaborated to create these fully forged wheels. And what's super insanely rad about these is not only the first set, they are also currently the only set in existence of these wheels. And they were flight freighted, overnighted from across the world to get here in time to be mounted those do onto look, the Demon Child. Those do look sick. They are insanely sick. And then what extra is sick are these rings. If you look, it actually has AMW etched right in here and then KMC on the other side. So you know that this is actually a collaboration. And one thing I do like is the drain rings, is the drain holes. I don't do mud, but when you wash your vehicle, this allows it to all just like any, any of the dirt and grime to wash out. But not only that, if you ever wheel anywhere cold, you get snow and ice pack in here. Or rains, anything. Well, and then it freezes and then you just have a glob inside of here that then like unbalances your wheel drastically. So as that melts, it'll literally just leak out. So that's kind of a really cool feature that they do here. I kind of wish everybody would do that because it's like a reason to almost stay away from b locks when like you don't have they these drain holes. Yeah, drain I don't out. know why Not everybody does, does that yeah. unless KMC has a patent on it. I don't know, but either way, that's super cool. AMW and KMC did, it, did a really good job. These are just they are sick here. So sick. Those are going to look a uh, freaking amazing. So as you can see, these are not new tires. I mean, they're pretty new, but you can see they're dirty because um, they're not brand new tires because you can't get 40 inch nittos right now. Uh, hopefully if you watch this video in the future, in the far future, tires are now available again. But right now, tires are pretty much gold. It doesn't matter what brand, uh, but nittos are so hard to get. I, I made a lot of calls and I made a lot of people call the same person, Scott Bloom. <laughs> I, and he's gonna be like, don't put that in there. Yeah, so so we had a friend loan us. I owe him a new set of tires. Eventually. Eventually <laughs> to trade for his used set because we couldn't get nitto, 40 inch nittos from anywhere. And I know you guys, I have people message me. I have our subscribers, but hey, I'm looking for a set of uh, nittos. Can you get me up? So I, I, I can't even get them. So anyway, this whole build is brand new, except for the tires, which are a set of used nittos. But they're, I mean, I think he's got 3,000 yeah, miles on them. I mean. They're good enough. Yeah, way to dirty up my tires, Scott. Thanks, thanks. This big, nice new build and it's gonna have these mucky looking tires on it. What he means is thank you so much, Scott, <laughs> for your generosity in lending us these 40 inch Nitto trail grapplers for the Demon Child build. Now, another thing I'm really excited about, if you guys remember in the first video where we picked up the new Demon Child, I had a problem driving back because like my butt was going numb, my tailbone hurt because these factory seats are so insanely stiff. Like the leather here, which I don't even think this is leather. I think this, this is 
This leather. Is I think leather. it's leather. No, no, no. This is leather, this is leather, and this is leather. But this is vinyl, and this is vinyl. So you can actually feel the difference. This is stiff. So Super freaking stiff. And I told you guys we had a solution for that, and that solution is working with cat skin because Catskin makes complete replacement covers. These don't just go over the stock seats. This is a whole replacement, and it is super soft and plush. It is so, so nice. Su it's supple. It's, it's supple. So it's very supple. I know this is weird. <laughs> I know this is weird, but listen. <laughs> like, does that... I don't know if that really shows you, you but it, just the but that's that's not even the best. I mean, that is a really good part. You know what the best part is? Yes, it came with heated seats, but they are heated element seats, which means it just has like coil wires running through that heat up and heat your butt. We now have the first JL with cooled seats and heated seats that is blowing through. As you can see, it's perforated. There is actually a module under there that gets either hot or cold and then hoses and a fan that blow through and come through all this perforation. There's a whole bag that's like situated under here and here and it literally blows cold air, not just ambient air circulating under your butt, actual cold air. We'll have to show you that module because it's actually pretty cool. Now before Kevin flips it over though, I just want to show you the attention to detail with these cat skin covers here. So if you look, the perforation actually says AMW 840 on it because we're running an 840 horsepower Demon in this vehicle now. The perforation's there, you've got the carbon fiber detail there, and then of course, right here on the back, you have the embossed America's Most Wanted 4x4 logo. The attention to detail is just absolutely insane. So if you look in the back here, you're gonna have one of these TEDs. That's a thermal electronic device. There's one in the back and one on the bottom. So this is your fan. You're gonna power your fan and then you're gonna either heat up or cool the TED. And this is like a little brass radiator in there. Those are fins. The fan blows the air through this and it distributes it to the back and to the bottom. So if you click on cool, this unit cools off and it's literally blowing cold air on your back and on your butt and on your legs, whatever's touching the seat. Or when you hit the heat, it's not heating elements. It actually heats this up and still blows hot air. So they actually attach all this, wire up the fan, and then this plums through into the back. And then if you look at the bottom, so here's the same thing on the bottom. There's your fan, there's your tube. It's gotta run up under the seat and the TED is sitting right there. So that's how that works, which is, is so pretty freaking neat. We didn't do the other one yet, and that's because I really want to show you guys probably the best and most cringeworthy part of this entire ordeal. Can I get rid of my race seats in the jail and put these in the stepchild? Yeah. Like, what, what, what did you say? It was what? This is supple on my boote. <laughs> the first thing when I sat in the 392, I was like, oh, these seats are hard. And people were like, oh, it'll break in. Give it 100,000 miles. Like, <laughs> yeah, let me just drive for 100,000 miles to break it in. Or you put cat skins on it and be supple right from the start. Uh. Stop. <laughs> okay, so we told you guys this is a full vehicle conversion, right? Obviously, we're doing new seats and stuff, but we also told you we're tearing this thing apart. And part of this process, can you get the seat covers off in one piece? Yeah, you probably could, but it's gonna take a lot longer than we have time for. So, uh,. We're gonna expedite the process here. Do not cut yourself. Watch your thumb. We're just gonna. Oh my. With goodness. these brand new. Brand new. <laughs> three brand new. Seats. You know how many people are gonna be like, oh, I could have used those. Oh god. What if we sell parts of the seat? We'll sign them. So. We'll sign parts of the seat. Here, I have an idea. What? Not parts. Part. Part. Hold on. Okay. We're gonna. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, I didn't know about this. What are you... You and the cutting. I have an idea. Hold on, pause. <laughs> I thought you were just going to sign it. What are you doing? Who's this going to? I don't know yet, and I, I don't know how we're gonna decide, but. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is so hard! So Brittany's done tearing up our new seats. I mean, 
I do like the, the, these cat skins better, obviously. The, uh, the reason these are also softer, it's not only that the leather is so much more supple, it's also that the foam that's sewn to it is thicker. So the factory is eighth inch thick. I mean, that's not gonna come across. It's like there's on, nothing there. Yeah, but that's, that's, so that's eighth inch. This is half inch foam. So there's a lot more thickness to that foam there. You're getting it twofold. You're getting softer, supple material. leather material and then a lot thicker padding here, so. Supple is the word of the day, y'all. Supple. How many times can Take we say shot. that in the video? Take, Take a, a shot, shot every time, time we say, say it. <laughs> All right, it's time to tear this one the rest of the way apart and get these seats finished. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about ready to drop the body back on this whole entire build. But there is a lot, there's a lot, a lot that got done that we didn't exactly show. Why? Why? Jelly. Why? Jelly. Why? He what are you doing? He wasn't even. He yeah. <laughs> so first and foremost, the Bill Stein. So these are the 8125 dual compression adjustable coilovers that are the only ones in existence right now. They are a prototype, and I want to show you something real quick. Now, they're not charged with gas yet, and that's going to actually make this easier to show. So there's, there's no nitrogen in them. I've got all these adjusters fully open. They're fully on soft. So here you go. And then we'll just go to the other extreme. We're just going to close them all the way. Both low and high compression. Just, just for the extreme, just to kind of really show what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not going anywhere because it's it's full full stiff and then watch this watch when i click it open and see it drop dropped. yeah and so now here's just a couple clicks i gotta put, Still really put into it and then we go all the way back open again so it shows you the range it has from literally just like cadillac woo, 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 like hurt. probably never need that <laughs> Unless you're just on a super bumpy road and you're not gonna go fast and you don't wanna feel anything, all the way to Extremely fully stiff, launch it off a of dune, kinda like Peyton over there did with uh, <laughs> with the one tongue gladiator. Anyway, so that's on here, it's working. You can see we got our colored match springs. bronze springs. So that looks super dope. Now let's go through really quick because I want you to kind of look, just look at all this. These lines are all heat protected. This is gonna be cooling from the pump in the rear for the supercharger to go through the intercooler. So it pumps from this pump back here. I'm gonna send it all the way through, in through the intercooler, through the supercharger, and then all the way back around into this tank back here, which is a extra cooling tank. I think the whole system is about five gallons. So that adds extra coolant for the supercharger itself. So the radiator and engine coolant is separate from the supercharger coolant and that's its own whole cooling system. So we have MagnaFlow exhaust. It fits just like factory comes through. So this is the first of its kind as well. America's Most Wanted got with MagnaFlow and they came up with this whole new exhaust system. So it's dual three inch into a three and a half, a really long uh, round style. And then they added a, a resonator back here as well. We don't have the end tailpipe on just yet. But it's gonna get rid of that drone, but still sound mean when you open it up. It's gonna sound almost more factory at idle and when you're cruising, so you don't have any like uh, reverberation inside the cab. Uh, if you look here, generally for 392s, 426s, and I think Hellcats, you just have the factory fuel pump. Well, for the Demon and Hellophant, that's not enough. So they actually have to cut a hole in the tank and add a whole nother fuel pump. So now you're running twin fuel pumps and it comes into the Y. You can see just how like clean. Right, you would never know that this wasn't really factory. Tucked away. Yeah, so we did go with the Rubicon 4 to 1 T case. We've got JE rail, which is what we use on everything. We've got JE rail drive shafts front and rear with a double card in on the front and rear. So America's Most Wanted was already using JE rail because they were asking me like, hey, who do you use for driveline? I was like, JE rail, like so do we. So for all these 700, 800, thousand horsepower vehicles they were already using je real and they've never had an issue so that's i mean that's why we use them 
So We've also never had an issue, which is why yeah. we use them. <laughs> so long arms, a 60 front, 80 rear. America's Most Wanted kind of sources and has builds to their, to their spec. You can see right there. The AMW 8 lug. AMW 8 lug, 80 rear, and yep. then 60 front axles. Now the brakes are the factory 60, 80 brakes like the, that come with these, but for now. for now, we will show you the upgrade on those. And then the wheels are mounted Airbus. with the nittos. They're finally mounted. Yep, so those are getting ready to go on. Once this gets under the Jeep, gets set down, we'll pull the whole thing up and we'll pull the, these wheels off, these brakes off, and we'll do the new brakes and the new wheels all at the same time. There's so it's, much. It's a lot. I mean, even from these brackets that have to go into the frame here that hold the remote resis, but look how good all this just is packaged. The fit and finish on all of this is absolutely insane. Again, that's one of the reasons we love America's Most Wanted 4x4 so much is because everything that they do, once they're finally done with it, it looks so clean and a lot of it looks OE as if you didn't have this massive vehicle conversion completed. But right. honestly, I mean, even, there's not there's yeah. not a single thing on here that's like untouched factory anymore. I mean, yeah. maybe the, not even the gas tank is like factory because all. Yeah. But if you look at all this, if you pulled the cab off of this and saw this, you'd be like, oh my god, like that's really nice and clean and like looks like it came from the factory. It's done so well. The parts are sourced and built to such a precise and like exact spec. Everything by the time you're done looks and performs so well, which is why, again, like we said from the beginning, this is a front to back, inside to outside, full blown vehicle conversion. Like almost <laughs> nothing on this vehicle is untouched. Nope. And there's still so much we haven't shown you. Like even taking the TK's breather that's normally only this long, and we ran it, extended it all the way up to where we have also the transmission breather coming up to the back of the motor. So if we do any water fording, there's that. I mean, from the headers, all the wiring, all this wiring is all done by AMW. This is all custom harness wiring that if you look at, looks literally factory. Everything on here is as factory as possible. Now we did go with uh, a full big bore PSC setup. So here's the box and the RAM and then all steer smart steering components on top of that. What's kind of cool too is a lot of these products are the same exact products we generally would use on all of our rigs. And you guys know that if it can handle the use and abuse that we generally put the stepchild through, it's quality stuff, which is why we were super excited because that means that this is gonna be built to almost the same spec as the stepchild. And even for the products that we generally don't run, we know that it's great quality and it's great performance because America's Most Wanted has actually designed and built all this around and together for many years now. So we know we're solid. I'm excited. We've just went over kind of as much as we could. There's there's a lot there's, there's a lot more, so but it's not really involving any other products. Like all this is just AMW stuff that comes with the kit. But let's get it let's get it under the demon tile. Like let's get it under here. Get in the air because I, I really want to put those those wheels look sick. I want to get the wheels on. I want to get the brakes on. I want to get the coilovers charged, and I want to get it started. <laughs> like I'm ready to go. Fit, baby. Now with 840 horsepower, we're also gonna want more stopping power. Now we had already mentioned that America's Most Wanted 60 and 80 axles, their eight lug axles that we've now installed on the Deeming Child. Now this means that we can also upgrade the brakes. Now the 6080s come with these huge calipers with these two huge pistons, but as you can see, it's a normal caliper where it has kind of a floating pad on one side and then the two 
pistons on the inside pushing on that. Now, AMW has an upgraded kit that turns it into an eight piston caliper. You have four pistons on the outside and four more pistons on the inside. So it is clamping from both sides. We've driven it. I almost put Brittany through the dash. <laughs> it is an insane amount of stopping power, which is good because I've never felt that on a Jeep, Not nothing like this. And somehow it actually works with the stock master and stock booster and we're not changing any of that up there. I thought it was gonna need all that because you would think that this would require. need, require that. Yeah. And somehow it doesn't because I've already driven them. And uh, this was one of those things that I was like, you know, we're already going so dumb with everything else. We might as well. And I mean, look how sick, like it, it just. Of course we went with the red calipers to match the red yeah. Jeep. So, like, oh God, don't drop. these get mounted like this. So there's your difference. There's a difference between. He's not joking when he said when we test drove the Hellcat for the first time that had their eight lug brake upgrade, he didn't warn me. He hit the brakes and dang near sent me through the windshield. Uh, it is very effective. <laughs> You guys are wondering how we're gonna cool a demon, especially living out in the heat. Well, here you go. <laughs> this is this is how you cool it. So we've got an aftermarket larger radiator that is also an oil cooler. So it has the coolant running through it, but it also has oil passages. So the oil runs through the radiator as, as well as the coolant. And you have a trans cooler. We have a power steering cooler, and we have our condenser. And right in here is actually the intercooler for the supercharger. A lot of coolers. A lot, a lot of coolers. To keep it cool. To keep it cool. With the coolers. With the coolers, with all the coolers. This all fits on the front. Yeah, this is this is gonna just go in as one whole unit, and then we're gonna bolt it up and start it up. That's, it's just gonna go, it's just, right gonna, it's just gonna bolt on, Dan. We're just gonna bolt it on and start it. Yeah. Bolt it on, it's good to go. Also, we didn't need this anymore. That was not as single shot awesome as I was hoping it to be. Well, it's an thing. R. It's, it's an, an R. R. It doesn't really. <laughs> the U would be more single shot. The B would be a single shot if you want that. <laughs> There's your single shot. studio come in to install some of the new decals on the deeming child and holy crap this thing looks so good the details in the decal are sick you can see in the backdrop here it says amw 840 since we have a 840 horsepower demon engine in here now carry over here you've kind of got the same thing that background there you have amw 840 ghosted in there this looks so good and don't you worry this is not the last time that you will see Jeep Graphics Studio on our YouTube channel because we are working with them very closely to create a super sick full-bodied wrap for the Deeming Child as well so hopefully we'll also have that on there in the next month or two and 
We're so close, you guys. So close. Unfortunately, though, that's all that we are gonna get to see until this thing is finally 100% done because, per usual, there's no rest for the wicked and our schedule <laughs> is packed and we have to be in Colorado in just a couple days, which is how far away? Uh, 1,100 miles or something. It's, 20, it's like 21 over, hours. It's 21 hours away, which means we've got to get on the road and we're not going to be here in time to see this finished, but that's fine because don't worry, we have something planned, you guys, that once this is done, it'll be, ooh, it's going to be sick. So as always, guys, Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all of your Life Right Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. As always, we love you. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And we'll time. see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Mwah. Jelly, we gotta go. We gotta leave it in America's Most Wanted, very capable hands. They gotta finish the job for us. There you go. Do you want the beef jerky that I'm holding in my hand? Yes. Is it hot here? Yes. Are you ready to get back home to Utah? Yes. Okay, all right, let's go.